In Urban Era here with a review of the iconic Replica's flexible New Look Bus and HO scale. My example is lettered for AC Transit, my hometown agency. First, let me say that I'm deeply pleased that Iconic Replicas has come out with the first ever HO scale AC Transit bus that fits my late 1960s model era. The good. The detail paint all over the model is crisp and accurate. I appreciate the accurate fonts, colors, and even a route letter board that's signed for the 40 Telegraph, a route that may have intersected with my layout in 1968. Around the front, the windshield molding is crisp, and the windows are properly tinted a light green, a period detail that's almost impossible to recreate after the fact. The mirrors and bumpers are both separately applied chromed plastic, which looks more convincing than silver paint. Rubber tires are nicely molded and look to be a proper type, with the tread being an especially nice touch. Using real rubber here helps nail a realistic look with the proper shine. A tiny detail that you may not even notice is the really cute California Blue license plate, which unfortunately puts this bus's era slightly too late for the Alta, but it's a great detail that many manufacturers skip. The bad. It rolls really, really well, which would be good if it were a Hot Wheels item, but with its $45 price tag, you'd never be sending it down racetracks anytime soon. That means if you plan to pose it on any hill, it'll end up right at the bottom, unless you glue the model's axles. The bus has a fully modeled, but unpainted interior. It is easily accessible via two Phillips head screws on the bottom of the bus, but painting such a small model will be a fiddly task, taking time and precision. The lack of paint is especially visible through the fishbowl windows. Front wheels don't articulate, so this bus is only headed forward and can't be posed mid-turn. The die casting is less crisp than an injection molded plastic model, similar in quality to 1990s era Road Champs or Majorette 187 scale vehicles. Remember those? The paint is thick with lots of filleting present near the seam lines. This is exaggerated by the great detail printing and paint, which draws your eye in only for it to be flooded with the blobby base coat. It's at best a quote-unquote three-foot rule model in its current state, and photographs poorly up close. One detail paint area stands out as very strange. The bus has weird dirt paint unevenly applied on the inside rims of the wheels, Limiting weathering here makes it hard to remove and just doesn't look good. And finally, there's no underbody detail. Even Hot Wheels does this now. The Ugly. This is where the review goes off the road a bit. Let's talk about quality control and what its value to, is to the manufacturer and the consumer. My example, which I purchased at the Market Street Railway Museum to support them, has a catastrophic pad printing issue. The entire standee window section is wobbly as a result of a production error. This somehow got past whomever was checking these models and it left the factory. I paid over $40 for this model, and since the printing issue was on the back side of the box, there was no way to see it before I had broken the seal, meaning I can't even return the model. Now I'm stuck with an unfixable issue since stripping the paint will damage the plastic window molding. This model is far too expensive to have this kind of quality control issue, especially as a piece of scenery and not a motorized model. I'm confident the diecast collector set would have a fit if they saw this. The biggest issue I have with the iconic replica's new look is actually this. A completely different bus. This model is made by Rapido, and it's superior in every single way at virtually the same price. The Rapido model has finer detail and thinner paint, which can show it all off, and even includes a fully painted interior, saving hours of detail time. Its ability to pose its front wheels and impressive lighting package are a tour de force. Furthermore, Rapido's obsession with quality control means I can confidently order any of their buses online and not risk being stuck with a major defect. Other manufacturers need to realize that Rapido is now the baseline for transit vehicle model quality, and you must meet or exceed this in 2022 and beyond. A point in Iconic Replica's favor, though, is the variety of liveries and the flexible prototype. No other manufacturer has made the flexible bus, and even with the GM new looks being out, AC Transit simply isn't made by Rapido yet. The Verdict would I buy this again? 
Probably not, or at least not without really inspecting the individual model I intend to purchase first. If the QC remains iffy, then they're all unknown quantities until you take it out of the box. The paint is really thick, too. This is an outstanding model for 1995, but not 2022. Should you buy this model? Also, probably not, unless Rapido hasn't made the right transit agency for you and you really need a bus. Iconic replicas are producing some of the only vintage and contemporary bus models in HO scale, filling a desperately needed niche that's been ignored outside of German offerings for the past 70 years. Step up your QC game and keep releasing new models, then we'll talk. <laughs>